Mount Vesuvius is a volcano that is synonymous with destruction and tragedy. But beneath its now iconic cone lies a story that stretches across millennia, a saga of cataclysm, survival, and discovery. While the infamous eruption of 79 AD that buried Pompeii and Herculaneum has long captured the world's imagination, a more ancient disaster, one that unfolded nearly 2,000 years earlier, has recently come to light. In 2025, archaeologists made a groundbreaking discovery near the modern town of Nocera Inferiore, just eight miles from Pompeii, one that reveals a harrowing tale of Bronze Age people and animals fleeing an eruption of Vesuvius. Vesuvius, located on the Gulf of Naples in southern Italy, is part of the Campanian volcanic arc, a chain of volcanoes formed by the subduction of the African tectonic plate beneath the Eurasian plate. While Vesuvius is most famous for its eruption in 79 AD, which destroyed Pompeii and Herculaneum, its history of activity stretches back much further. Geological evidence suggests that Vesuvius has been active for at least 400,000 years, with its earliest eruptions occurring long before humans walked the Earth. However, it was during the Bronze Age, around 3,500 years ago, that Vesuvius began to significantly impact human settlements in the region. The volcano's eruptions during this period were characterized by explosive activity, which produced pyroclastic flows, fast-moving currents of hot gas and volcanic material that devastated the surrounding landscape. The Bronze Age eruption of Vesuvius, now dated to around 1995 BC, was one of the most powerful in its history. This eruption is now known as the Avellino eruption and was even more catastrophic than the one that destroyed Pompeii. It ejected vast amounts of ash and pumice, burying settlements and transforming the fertile Campanian plain into a desolate wasteland. The Avellino eruption began with a massive explosion that sent a column of ash and pumice high into the atmosphere. This was followed by pyroclastic flows that raced down the slopes of the volcano, engulfing everything in their path. The eruption also produced lahars, which are volcanic mud flows, that buried the surrounding landscape under layers of debris. The impact of the Avellino eruption was felt far beyond the immediate vicinity of Vesuvius. Ashfall from the eruption has been found as far away as Greenland, preserved in ice cores that provide a record of past climate events. The eruption also had a profound effect on the local environment as it transformed the fertile Campanian plain into a barren wasteland. It is estimated that the region was uninhabitable for several decades after the eruption. This likely forced the surviving population to migrate to other areas. Despite the devastation, the Campania region eventually recovered, and human settlements began to reappear around 1200 to 900 BC, during the Iron Age. These new communities built their homes on the layers of ash and pumice left by the Avellino eruption. The story of the Nocera Inferiore footprints began in 2023, during routine construction work to repair a methane gas pipeline. As workers dug into the earth, they uncovered a layer of volcanic ash containing what appeared to be ancient footprints. Recognizing the potential significance of the find, they alerted archaeologists who quickly descended on the site. Over the next two years, a team of experts meticulously excavated the area and in the process uncovered a treasure trove of prehistoric and Roman-era artifacts. The footprints were preserved in pyroclastic deposits from the Avellino eruption and were found alongside animal tracks which suggests a chaotic scene of humans and livestock fleeing together. The prints vary in size and depth, indicating men, women, and children of different ages. Some footprints even hauntingly show signs of slipping or stumbling, which itself shows just how much of a magnitude the panic and desperation were at the moment. Archaeologists also found evidence of collapsed structures and charred remains, which shows that this was a community caught off guard by the volcano's fury. At the heart of the Noctra Inferiore discovery are the stories of the people who left their footprints in the ash. Who were they? What were their lives like before the eruption? And what became of them after they fled? While we may never know the answers to these questions in detail, the footprints provide some clues. The presence of both human and animal tracks suggests that the fleeing group included farmers or herders, people whose livelihoods depended on the land. The varying sizes of the footprints indicate that families were fleeing together, with parents carrying young children and older children struggling to keep up. The signs of slipping and stumbling suggest that the ground was unstable, 
which was possibly caused by the weight of the ash or the heat of the pyroclastic flows. The discovery also raises questions about the broader social and cultural impact of the eruption. Did any survive? Or were they ultimately overtaken by the eruption's fury? Did the survivors return to the area once it was safe to do so? Or did they establish new communities elsewhere, carrying with them the memory of the disaster? The reappearance of settlements in the region during the Iron Age suggests that the survivors, or their descendants, eventually returned, drawn back by the fertile soil and strategic location of the Campania Plain. The discovery of these footprints is particularly significant because they provide direct evidence of human activity during a prehistoric eruption. Unlike the later eruption of 79 AD, which was well documented by Roman historians like Pliny the Younger, the Avellino eruption occurred in a time before written records. As a result, the footprints now serve as one of the few and invaluable tangible sources of information about this ancient disaster. The discovery of the Nocera Inferiore footprints is just one piece of a larger puzzle that archaeologists and historians have been piecing together for decades. Vesuvius has long been a focal point of scientific and historical research, not only because of its destructive power, but also because of its impact on human history. The volcano's eruptions have shaped the cultural and demographic landscape of the Campania region, influencing everything from settlement patterns to religious practices. One of the most intriguing aspects of Vesuvius's history is its role in the development of early warning systems for volcanic eruptions. The ancient Romans, who were well aware of the volcano's destructive potential, developed a rudimentary form of risk assessment based on observations of seismic activity and gas emissions. While these early warning systems were far from perfect, they represent an important step in the evolution of disaster preparedness. In more recent times, Vesuvius has become a symbol of the ongoing threat posed by active volcanoes. The volcano is still considered one of the most dangerous in the world, with millions of people living in its shadow. The story of Vesuvius is far from over. The volcano remains active, and its potential for future eruptions poses a constant threat to the millions of people who live in its shadow. Yet, the same volcanic soil that makes the region so dangerous also makes it incredibly fertile, supporting agriculture and viticulture to this day. As excavations continue and technology advances, we can expect even more remarkable discoveries. What other secrets lie buried beneath the ashes of Vesuvius? The past is still speaking to us. We only need to learn how to listen. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the dramatic history of Mount Vesuvius and the incredible discoveries that continue to emerge from its shadow. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating stories from the past. Stay curious and we'll see you in the next chapter of history.